Introduce. Yeah, I can introduce. What should I say? Hello. Hello, and welcome to the No Format Required Podcast. I'm Mike, and with me is Charlie. I've not thought of anything like that. You should start off with goodbye. Goodbye from the No Format Required Podcast. Yeah. I want to do the episode backwards. Yeah. It would. Yeah, so, right. <laughs> what have we talked about this episode? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we had a scripted episode that might work, but as we just got very long, we were talking about the auto through. Oh, yeah, so auto through. Auto Q. Auto Q, so I didn't see that. But uh, yeah, another week. Or I should probably see that we're in the exact same place as last episode. I know, I just haven't changed it. Oh, yeah. I'm either very happy or very upset by the result. Yeah. We don't know. We're also either very happy or very upset about the politics as well. Yeah. We're also very upset or happy, probably about Wimbledon as well. Yeah. Um, and towards France. Not the best fan. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what have we been up to since I saw you last I week? I grabbed a drink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've opened up this bottle of water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah, it's only been five minutes since we last recorded. Yeah. <laughs> but hey ho, that's what we do. We. Record them straight afterwards, and yeah. we always discuss those straight away afterwards. They always know. But yes, were you watching the um, British Grand Prix this weekend? Probably not. It's on work. Oh, I booked it off. For... Well, I booked it off for that, and I've got wait. I've been coming around tomorrow on oh, Saturday to watch the football, so I'm trying to be there for jars. Nice. So yeah, but I was like, I'm going to watch the British Grand Prix as well. So yeah. hopefully, do a bit of garden work as well. Yeah. So, a few weeds that you need to get rid of. Uh, well, we need, and well, I've painted, I've painted the shed today, but I've done back and two sides because I'm a bit like slapdash. Like, it, it don't really matter around the back and sides, yeah. but maybe sees it, just needs another coat. But the front, um, I'm going to be with Yeah, I'm leaving it for Lauren. She's, yeah, she's a lot better painter than me. And then we've got a fence at the front, and actually all the fence at the side at the front, that needs another coat. And I need to trim back all the, uh, this bush here at the side as well, so. Um, yeah, I need to go and get mum and dad to trim us for that. But, uh, oh, you can borrow a from. What have you got? Hedge trimmers? Yeah, it's electric. It's like what? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think you got a new way over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I thought I broke broken the other day because I accidentally went through the wire. God, that's uh, like, I was halfway through, through it. Yeah, yeah. And I tugged it back in. Well, I tugged it back in. I tried to fix it. It's not working at all. Mm. I absolutely live it because I'd almost finished what I was doing. Uh, but, Buy some new ones. Sort of thing. <laughs> so I was so angry. And I, was, I was like moping around the garden, and then I went to um, I was like raking up all the stuff, and I went to go get my um, leaf blower. Oh, leaf blower as well. And sucker as well. Yeah, yeah. leaf blower, but it's more for sucking. Yeah, yeah. Um, and went to go plug plug that in with you, and I was like, it's not working. Mm. Why is it not working? Shit. I was like, it's tripped the electric. So then I had to go around track because I hadn't got a clue where the outside plug. Um, um, okay. got a fuse box while I was trying to find out it's where all the other fuses were I've just been quit <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I eventually fixed it and then um, I plugged in the edge trimmer and it's working still so I've got, I've got to get some tape around it yeah yeah, yeah. I did it but thank well, god it's not broken that would have been livid I did it and as a, well you can't really see the light because it's covered in the it's covered in the bush but yeah I ended up going through that wire on that and I'm always really careful about it, so I'd have to like put some electrical tape on it to tape it up. But um, yeah, annoying. Me, but yeah, yeah, I'm a bit. I probably should buy my own leaf blower and the trimmer because I know my mum would buy. Well, but now you know that I'm closer. Well, yeah, no, you've got one definitely. But like the, the head, the, the head trimmer, I, don't, I thought, well, I only do it once a year. Like, and eventually we want to have that bush taken out and put a fence in, if possible. But I'm not going to that cost. Um, oh, is there no fence? No, so there's fence up until the first part, and then, yeah, for a bike, what, 10 foot, and then two fence panels, two, three, three fence panels, and you know, just like what, but it's, it's like dying in the middle of it. And, yeah, and each year, to be honest, I mean, yeah, it does need trimming back. I mean, I've had it before where there's been, um, a couple, there's a blackberry bush in there as well, but it's actually like come out halfway into the middle of the garden. Oh, really? The branches, yeah, but it's each year, it just seems less and less. Um, what's the word? More flourish or I do the word, but anyway, so yeah, I need to to do that. And I was t- today, I was like, 
the weather was shit yesterday, so I thought, well, I'd go for an excuse not to go over there. And then I was like, that's pretty cool. It's washing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would have been mowed the, the garden, but I'd have been eBay doing errands. Yeah, so I mean, sometimes it's nice to have a day doing nothing as well, isn't it? But I didn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's only got an entire house, so uh, went and painted a few things from here yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Um, Lauren Wood had a doctor's appointment, so I dropped her off, picked her up afterwards. Yeah, school very stinks. Yeah. It's not so school holidays for a couple of weeks, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so exciting. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to like, have a bit of the summer because we had that. I know. Mean, well, if you, look, if you look at the weather at the time, so we record them. Um, <laughs> but yeah, actually, you go downhill again. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Because today, like, yesterday was miserable. Today's like, it's been nice, but windy. It's been very windy. Yeah, a bit chilly. But it's. Yeah, it's kind of like a windy hit by looking at, well, the four items of clothing. Oh, yeah. I don't know why there's any four items of clothing in the washing line. Well, I said this to Lauren, she's like, oh, we'll do it because the weather's nice. And I was like, but then that was it. In fact, we could have just waited until we got some more. She's got a thing where I'm at the washing it's like, shut up then. I, I did all the docks yesterday, and, you know, I've got like, you know, like say about five, six items of clothing that she had to do, um, which she probably should take in because I'm pretty sure they'll be dry. I've been up to about eight hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I'm on my fourth load outside, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. I do, I do, be like, quickly, so. I do enjoy putting out on the last washing line because I find I'm saving myself, I know I'm saving myself money by doing it. I even bought an inside area today, um, so it's, you know, in the winter months or whatever, you can hang things in. Have you, um, is it electric or more? No, no, I'm not electric. In a heated area. The only thing is, though, when I kitch, I know, it's actually on the other side, I've got a bunch of kitch down on the floor, I could probably get that. Exciting, this isn't it? Exciting. I know, this is really cool. Talking about air Honestly, mate, a heated area is one of the best, well, I say best investments. My parents brought a new one. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, one of the best things we've got that with a uh, dehumidifier, uh, uh, dries your clothes in house. But then with the electric, you use them for both of them. It's pricey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? Just put it in the tumble dryer. <laughs> no, because the tumble dryer will shrink the clothes. Mm. I suppose. No, I always, I always hate my clothes after I've been in the tumble dryer. Oh, do you? It's always got a tumble. It's always nice to have them hang out because you get the, the smell. So yeah. It always smells nice. Well, unless somebody's burning in a fire. Um, what? So, burning your fire? Oh, if somebody's. You're not like burning. You're not burning the fire. Oh, it was a fire. A fire <laughs> wasn't, yeah. Making the fire more burnt. Yeah, more burnt. <laughs> and yeah, last night, actually, 999. I was. Um, so I've been to the pub with mum and dad, so I've had a few beverages, and, um, and it was like lying in bed. It was barely been. Nice. <laughs> I've been headed or something like that. And then we're all sort of getting ready for it. some shouting, like, right? something like saying, come on, then, come on, let's go on here. Like, right, just obviously, thing of the blind, that lot. And there was two paramedics, and this guy with a shirt on. And he was, like, sort of squaring up to them. So they was they seemed to have following him down the road. And he sort of stopped on the opposite side of that side of the house and was just, like, really, like, shouting and getting like, And they were on the thing to their radio. But, you know, I mean, I thought, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm not sure because it's, I mean, I'm sure they would have thing is their control room or whatever, but I thought, oh, I'll bring it in anyway. But yeah, and then eventually his, his mates came and I like, grabbed him and then they all sort of went up down the street. Oh, but I don't know what. They sort of take majors. Well, yeah. Can't take yeah, yeah. officers, they are. <laughs> um, it's a base response to people walking into my house. <laughs> well, it's a lot you do. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> I've got a very OCD thing with dogs. Like, I went to one and dad's today to parcel and make sure he lived in it off. But, and I'm like, there, like, checking the door to make sure it's locked. Then, like, walking up, like, going back and checking it again. And then, before I go to bed at night, I'm like, it's like an OCD that thing. Like, I have to do it, like, check it. And then I'll. I, I am a bit like that now. I will, right? So, I like, will take out the keys. So, mm. that's what I have to make sure everything's all locked. So, do you have keys that go in your door? Yeah. Uh, so, we have, yeah, we've got a thumb, thumb lock. Yeah, because I was like, oh, I'd leave the keys in because you better off leaving the key in because then um, it's like stops anyone jamming the key in there, but then I suppose get the hands away. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we've got a thumb that one. Yeah, we're not having any attempts recently, so it's all good. Yeah, Yeah. kids in their ASB. 
Just the response so hard. Kids playing silly bugger, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, they them just walk into houses. <laughs> yeah. yeah, kids being silly buggers walking into houses. See, when I was younger, we used to do like knock a door run, but it was kind of like to people that we knew, like our parents' houses yeah. and, or friends' parents' houses. But knock down ginger, but uh, anyway. it's what? Knock down ginger. Knock down ginger. That's what you call it on Why is why ginger? That doesn't make no sense whatsoever. I've That's never heard of it. The, uh, <laughs> they call it, you know, it's a ding dong, ding dong bitch. Like yeah. The new, new one. I knock a door run, it's exactly what you're doing. You're knocking on the door and then you're running away. Yeah, you're simple punch for you, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I remember watching when I was younger. We, um, my mate, well, one of my mate's mum, she was coming back from shopping. So we got, put my mate, he was a bit a few years younger than us, put him in the bin. And he was sort of waiting in the bin. Then she walked past me, jumped out at her, she dropped it off in my And she, his mum was actually, we were like hiding sort of down the bed, because they lived opposite us. We were hiding down the, um, in the back, well, kind of, Side gate thing, I thought, oh no, she's not looked happy, so we were like panicked and sort of run back to that <laughs> garden. She really, really got her telling off. <laughs> I don't know if it was a combination of obviously making them drunk and dropping the shopping bag and the fact that he was been in a bin, just like in a bin, which not made like Jesus, is it? So, but yeah, so, um, okay. there was, um, you know, the comedian Greg Davis, yeah. I think from one of his stand up tour, he talks about how his dad basically, he was dad's just like a prankster type of thing, but yeah. always like, you ever watched Man Down? It's yeah. like a semi or spy graph, really, really funny. Um, and Rick, Rick, um, male plays his father, um, which is what first series, unfortunately, passed the Rick Wade, what second series started. Um, but Greg, I recall in one of, in one of his stand ups, the story of his um, dad once hid in a bush waiting for Greg to come back from the pub. Okay. And he was in there for hours and eventually apparently his mum just walked outside saying, Darling, like, you didn't know he's staying at his friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in there with a clock in the evening. <laughs> and apparently we just sat there for hours waiting. waiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do love with Frank. I did one of my best ones at work. Um I was going to know it was before COVID and I ended up having to cancel the cruise anyway before COVID. But you know he bought this big big Caribbean cruise like the whole family of them like that. But he was always like, he'd like sometimes finish early and it's like, it's basically it was negative in his hours, if that makes sense. So he owed hours. So I'd, I don't know how many hours he owed, but um, I sort of just made it up anyway. So I'd gone on his thing, sort of the days that he was on annual leave, and then did a letter to, to him basically saying, oh, because you own up, you know, you're this annual leave, we're actually going to write these. I think it's like five dates I picked just randomly in the middle of this holiday. You're going to have to come into work. We're taking out the annual leave sort of thing. So I anyway, did the letter. Made up a name and everything, put all like the stuff on the front of it. And then he just posted it in his docket and he comes in, he told my sergeant that's it, comes in and he, uh, you know, he opens it. Like, a bit confused and he's like, oh, they can't do this, go and go and speak to the sergeant. And he's like, well, what can you do? It's just all it is. And he's like, and he's like raging because he's not, he doesn't seem that bothered about it. He's like, I've got this Caribbean. And I start to feel really bad, so I didn't tell him. Like, yeah. And I did another one where, um, and my colleague's like, so she's like, slightly scuffed a laptop. She's oh, do I need to? She's quite new in the job, like, to her. And she's like, oh, do I need to, uh, do I need to report this? She's, oh, yeah, you know, it's four minutes for that. So I'll have a look, I think I've got. And I was just thinking, we're driving around, thinking, like, what am I going to put? So I drove back. And she's like, oh, yeah, can you send me that form? And I was like, yeah, I was just typing it up. So it's like, <laughs> when did it happen? Where did it happen? Take a picture of it. Um, anyway, I sent it to her, she filled it in, and I was like, right, you need to send it to your sergeant. Send it to him. <laughs> So I was a bit like, what's this? And told him. Uh, so everyone was laughing and she was not happy. She literally got it. I had to find some violent cream men to apologise. Right. She's like, oh, I would have found it funny, but the fact that you'd, I'd sent it to the sergeant, like, it didn't look like a right twat. And I was like, yeah, but I said, if that had happened to me, you would have been laughing like everybody else. So, um, yeah, it worked out. Yeah, it worked out. I used to do a lot of pranks here. Uni. Just stupid new pranks. There was one, we um, filled up every single crevice that we could so i was talking like these crisper drawers and the i was gonna say i thought you were doing yeah. crevices <laughs> <laughs> um like crisper drawer um pasta bowl like um, yeah you know, these um wait, jars where you put the pasta and stuff like that yeah um just made jelly in every single one of them okay <laughs> <laughs> just jelly in everything that we could think of yeah um and then after that we'd like sort of gone to a stage of um Two of our, we don't talk to them anymore, but Anna and Hannah. Mm. No, Annie and Hannah. Um, we tied their doors together. So there's an opposite end. Okay. We like, tied their doors together, but with a bit of slack. 
Yeah, yeah. And then we knocked them both the doors, so one of them aren't open it, and then the other one opened it. <laughs> Which is very, very good. Yeah. We're using so much. The only thing um, Frank says, like, I mean, I, I enjoy doing it, but the, uh, like, you know, if you have somebody trying to get you back, and then you're like, you're always like, but work, like, so yeah, like, I always feel like, always going out, like, put my water bottle away. And well, just, this like, last one, I have to tell you, <laughs> me and my friend, we cleaned up the whole of the corridor. No. <laughs> It looks, it doesn't look great because you can still see it, yeah, yeah, sort of thing. So we turned off the lights and he turned off the lights and we couldn't see it, yeah. So we left a little gap underneath that we could like sort of pull through and stuff. Mm. And um, then we took, um, we purposely like turned off all the power in the um, the box, effectively. Yeah, and I was like, oh no, honey, like power's gone, like come here, like what are we gonna do? And she knew we was up for something. Mm. She knew it was up to something. She had become paranoid that we put um, jelly in the vents and it was going to fall on top of her. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, the brute feet sort of like push up. Yeah, yeah. Sort of and she was paranoid that we'd done that. Um, and we like, kind of, we like down the end of the corridor, shouting at her. She was running mm. far end. We're going to have to go like, to her room and sort of try and get her out that way. So we went and banged on and was like, Annie, oh, yeah. we don't know what to do. Like, power's yeah. all gone and everything. And then we. When we started to hear her sort of like come out, we darted to the other end of the hallway. Yeah. I forgot to duck. Uh, <laughs> so I got hit by the clean film straight to the bounced backwards, and she was like, I knew you guys are out. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my own, own back on myself. <laughs> we, when I would, like, quite a few years ago, it worked, it was me and this other guy, and we'd always like, be doing some pranks to each other and stuff, but he'd like, he'd manage to get a picture of me and then just put this picture everywhere. Like, it was one point, I don't know who'd done it for him, but it was in the bit of the girls' toilets. Like, he managed to get a clock face, took the face off the clock, and put his uh, face in face, and put my pit, my uh, my face in that. Like, yeah, he couldn't really. But the best one, so I'd, um, I got one of the girls, I basically pretended that, um, pretended to get them to go down to a, to a road where there was a swan in the middle of the road, or a goose or something in the middle of the road. You know, it turned off. Obviously, it wasn't a movie like that. But anyway, so she'd waited for months. And it was my last shift before Christmas, and I was coming out and I thought, there's a lot of people that just seem to be milling around in the car that yeah. I have worked with. And there's a couple of them, people that's like, you know what I mean, they're gone straight away, they don't hang around with me. But this is a bit, I've never almost sort of, just a bit weird, I thought, something's not right. And we got in my car, and there were just feathers everywhere. And like, one pile on one seat, pile on another seat. <laughs> I was like, I was fuming, I was like, because I was like trying to get it out, and it, like, they're all neatly piled up. But as soon as you like start grabbing them, they all go everywhere. Yeah. So I'm there trying to figure it out. And end up wheel spinning up the car park. I'm really pissed off about it. So basically, what we're going to is you can dish it out, but you can't. Yeah. yeah. But she put um, what did she put? And she put a little sign as well in the car saying like um, goose motherfucker or something like that. Uh, I mean, that I find it. I think it's really funny. Um, but said that they'd basically done it, and then they've gone back to my car to take. They thought they put too many in, so they actually went. They, they thought they took some out. Yeah, they took some out. So they thought, oh, that's no, too bad. But I remember like clearing the car out, and they even get your keys. Oh, somebody got in my locker and got my keys for me. But yeah, to the day that I sold that car, so I, because I'd obviously moved it all out multiple times, there was still a feather in there the day I sold it. I saw it, I was like, that sort of stuff. Like, yeah. we once did, it wasn't a friend. Um, one of my friends went to uni. Basically, like, I love Christmas, all sort of mm. like buying presents, all sort of about um, everything. So, me and my friend Tom, um, for Christmas in one of our um, accommodations, we brought Christmas presents. Nothing expensive or like, yeah. like novelty, I guess. He brought everyone like these little, like, they like ribbons in a, on a stick and you flipped it. And uh, it came yeah. back, sort of thing. Yeah. So, like, all novelty little gifts. But my friend, I always remember there was this period um, back in like the mid 2000s, sort of thing, where like um, all these like gadget type shops would sell literally empty plastic, so plastic with nothing in it. Okay. It's like with the slogan, nothing for the man who has everything. Okay. And they're sending these like 10 quid yeah. and there was literally nothing in it. Yeah. But like sort of a bit of a gang for it. My friend would get so angry about it. Because mm. he's like, people are literally buying for nothing. But it's working. Like, there's a reason that they exist because people are going to buy it. Anyway, I didn't want to spend 10 pounds on that, but my friend. Yeah. So we brought, um, we found a load of polystyrene mm. and we sat there and we had a full grater. And you know one of those like um, letter inbox trays that just has holes in it. Oh yeah, yeah. greeting this um, polystyrene box. So yeah. it was in tiny little balls. Oh uh, okay. Yeah. Um, to sort of like make up, and we put it in a massive box. Yeah, and we gave it to him. Uh, 
and then literally on the bottom of this box, I believe all this was written for work and mapping. Um, <laughs> so he, we give it to him, and he's like really excited, like, what the hell is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, starts going through it. It gets to the point. We just if everyone wanted to do the presents before Christmas dinner, I'm glad we said no. And we said afterwards, and it was for this reason. It was literally this pipe yeah, 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 like chucking it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. And, oh my god, that stuff literally sticks to everything. Yeah, yeah. It took a it, like like you said, when we when we left our accommodation, we still find it. <laughs> um it was horrific what we've done. <laughs> I saw, I've seen videos like that on like social media where it's like which I think it's really cool where it's like kids and they'll be like yeah, test fire yeah. or, or something and they'll be like and they're really excited and then they open it and it's something I'm like okay, there's nothing in there or some like yeah, something else. Like, I thought oh. I'd like, I'd like to hope they would actually have given it here. Yeah, eventually, yeah. And I took it out of the box and the thing in it. But oh God, that, is, that is cool to a kid. There's one thing doing it to an adult, but doing it to a kid. I just printed one to do it with my brother. So I've got a PS4 box. I can just do yeah. it with the PS4 box and turn it across the PS4. It's like, no, it's still really me. Yeah, dear. I've been out of the past. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's near enough. For well, about a week ago, it's six months till Christmas. Exactly. Not nearly Christmas. <laughs> it was sick. It, I mean, it was near, nearly six months. Well, yes. We're closer to Christmas than we were away from Christmas. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. My sister's birthday is 25th, so it's not exactly six months. Oh, uh, really? Christmas. So it's quite a good time to have a birthday. Yeah. It's like even people pregnant, isn't it? It helps yeah. in that sort of stuff. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Um, Christmas Eve, 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 Christmas anniversary of when we sort of officially got together is the 4th of July but we only picked that date because it's a date that it's 4th of July yeah I know it's it um, but it's like you don't really celebrate it when you get a wedding like that, do you? Like, we don't well we do oh do you? we sort of like we first met mm. I don't because we got engaged an interesting and we got married on the exact same oh really date. 27th of July. Interesting story. So when you were on your first date, yeah. my sister was down in Bristol doing she was down there for a bit like helping out this camp. I didn't think her sister was down there, bro. Yeah, she went to university, but she was she was down there. She was doing this I forgot what it was. It was something it was it was like she was down there for like a couple of months or something. Mum and dad went to see her and it was at the table and they looked over and mum's like, I'm sure that's Lauren. And it was and you obviously yeah. on yeah, our first date. On your first date, so. Yeah. Yes. So they were down on the 27th of July. <laughs> yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Yeah, it was. She was doing some sort of summer camp thing. It was, but it was like for. It's a bit like them in America, but I think it was for like private school kids, mm-hmm. like just like prices. So we, yeah, she was like helping do that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, I've never, I've never actually never been to Bristol. No, I've driven past that way down to Cornwall, but I've never had to go. I would like to go. We should have gone there for an anniversary. We went to Lincoln. I'm just outside drink. Maybe that's something for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. How long is it? Like two hours? Uh, about three hours. Uh, about three hours. Mm. Yeah, how far how long have we on the train? I didn't tell you that on the train. My sister's just been away to Paris with her boyfriend's family have a have a flat in the centre of Paris. Mm. Very nice. So I'm hoping that obviously he's moving up here now. He's basically fed up with his job and the promised him all the stuff, so he's yeah, getting a job up here. Who's got a job up here, kind of thing. So, you know, it's nice a hotel or it's holiday. like a yeah, holiday. <laughs> no, it's somewhere in Derbyshire, but it's like a it's, it's, a, it's kind of like a pub restaurant, but it's like obviously a bit more fancy than a normal pub. My dad, my dad went like he sort of said he'd got he accepted the job and then he's gone to Paris. And my mum and dad went to the pub. My mum's like, don't say anything that you know him or anything like that. Um, but she had Rattler on tap, you know, the sign of Rattler. Oh, yeah. Which I've never seen rat like on tap, but and it's been in Cornwall and sometimes Devon. Yeah. I've never seen it on tap. Like here, Bristol. Oh, what, on tap? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. But Bristol's a big side, right? Yeah. yeah. True. Um, but yeah, so but yeah, I'm hoping that uh, maybe it's, maybe get the opportunity to uh, to use it. Yeah. But also, my mum and dad have bought their, they've got their caravan down in Norfolk now. Oh, very nice. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, that's me. Um, so, yeah, we're going there for my birthday. We're looking at going somewhere. We're going to go down to the Pop Studio, but we've got this holiday coming up at the end of the year. I'm just trying to save a bit of money. And I'm glad I like, bought the car and stuff like that. Can we, can we come there? It's uh, already booked the time off work before I'd even have something to go. Nice. So, uh, yeah, be nice. But, yeah. Are you, are you going on the holidays this year? Yeah, end of all week again for Lake District. Oh, of course, sure. yeah. Is that your friend's cabin? Or yes, yeah. cabin? Yeah. Yeah. 
So we went up a few years ago with some friends and we stayed in this really nice, it was a site, but it had like, there weren't caravans on that big cabin with a hot tub or whatever. Um, but yeah, it was really, well, I wish we'd gone longer because it took about four hours to get there. It's a long journey. Yeah. But it's so nice. Oh yeah, it is really. It's like, when, I get to, when you get to London, it's like you're not in, it's like its own kind of country. Yeah. Way. You go down to Cornwall, it's like its own separate part. Same with the Lake District. It's like, it's not saying like climate and you, like, you don't know what the weather's going to be from day yeah, to day. Yeah. 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 Y
I'm getting there. It's going to Yeah, so I can imagine if you wanted to go after work or something, like getting down to. It's good in the town centre as well, isn't it? Probably should do for the gym. Even? Yeah, in the town centre. Oh, like. I thought you meant the part about Nottingham. Oh, no, no, not in the centre. City centre. Yeah. City centre, yeah, but... I don't know, we were, we were looking at the daily treadmills. <laughs> so we've got one, and it's just sat, sat in our living room and has not been opened. Oh, they're not? <laughs> where, where did you get it from? Oh, I got it on the Facebook Marketplace. It's quite bulky. Is it? That's the issue. How much did you pay? Like, 40 quid. How did you? Yeah, that's... I've been looking. You can get these slimline ones, but they're like, they're not really good for running. I don't know. like walk. Oh, OK. Um, it's still exciting, isn't it? Well, yeah, I suppose it's still better than... Because I've looked at those ones, because I'm like, yeah. just slide it in there under the sofa, sort of thing. Yeah, they say that, but then I was looking at one of them, and it was like, it was on Amazon, so if you look at the video, and you just, I thought, that sofa looks very high off the ground. Oh, okay. Like, you're going to have to have your sofa on in stilts to, to get that underneath. Um, and that's the thing, though, if we had it, we'd have to have it in our kitchen, because a couple of years ago, Lawrence Lauren lived at home, she had one in the bedroom, and the neighbours complained because it, just when you're on it, the entire house can hear the bump yeah. But if it's on the ground floor, it's not too bad. But then um, we're on about getting rid of our shed that's next door to this one and getting a putting a gym thing in there. But it's extra for our money. Well, we had that. Uh, it was originally an hour of Jerry. We weren't using it through this inside. Have you actually used it? I've used it, yeah. Yeah. I know, I was thinking, I don't, and then some of them were like, like 600 quid, I thought, I don't want to spend some, you know what I mean? They're a bit like that, though, so you can buy a bit of 40 quid, it's, yeah. it's, even if you use it a handful of times, you've made your money back, kind of thing, so, yeah. um, I'll have to keep, keep an eye out. And I keep on about getting an electric, you know, the hybrid bikes, where you pedal and thing, but, again, it's storing it, because, you know, you just get lumbered in the kitchen. Yeah, I think when George dealt with that one, yeah. I saw like some bikes. Okay, yeah. So we'll go out driving. Yeah, well, they've got that thing at the park, haven't they? You're going there quite often. I'll do it. Excuse me, yeah. Yeah, it's quite nice of that. Uh, if they made electric scooters leave, well, I know that you can buy them, but you need to have a license and insurance to ride them about for most people. Well, yeah, I think they're 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Um, which is illegal, so, but if they ever made a thing where you could ride, like, get some insurance or I'll be tempted to, to get them, especially when it's. Sort of working during the day because get through the centre of town, like an absolute army, yeah. and kind of whisk through. Um, but yeah, so shall we leave it there for the street? Yeah, yeah. that's thanks for listening. Yes, and watching, watching if you choose to leave that. Yeah, remember to find us on socials Instagram, Facebook, X, um, YouTube. You can watch and listen to us on YouTube now, by the way. All of our podcasts, yeah, there. randomly. I don't think because I didn't follow no former on YouTube on YouTube. Then a random video came up and suggested a video from myself. Oh, really? I, I think I follow I think I follow him now, I don't know. But I was what like you follow him. Us. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I follow us, yeah. Um, but I was like, that's really random that's just come up. So obviously I know it's like a thing, I don't know, we're watching something that's similar to what we're doing. I know someone working at it around here on their podcast suggested feeds as well. Oh really? Quite a bit again out there. We go. It's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. So give us a like and a share and follow all those. Yeah. It helps us a lot. We really appreciate everything. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. See you next week. Bye. 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 Maybe. <laughs> or we might not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be another six months now. We might have a massive argument after this podcast, so we'll never do one again. <laughs>
required Conversations never tired Laughs and stories we inspire In the shed where dreams conspire Required. Conversations never tired Laughs and stories we inspire In the shed where dreams conspire